The modification that I'm doing is this guy here. It's a relay that will trigger my DC-DC charges. At the moment, the DC-DC charges sense the voltage of the start battery and when that voltage goes up to a certain amount it starts charging the auxiliary batteries. It's a basic way it knows to turn off and turn on <coughs> and therefore divide the charge between the alternator and start battery and auxiliary batteries. When you turn the engine off typically on a system like this not only with the Victron DC-DC chargers but generally speaking turn the engine off the DC-DC chargers sense a drop in a voltage and when that voltage drops to a certain amount charging stops so in other words there is a period of time between in turning the engine off the charging actually stops so it actually drains some of the start battery it's not ideal better it would be better if there was uh, th there was an instant cutoff one of the ways to create an instant cutoff is to have a trigger from the ignition but there are problems with that as well because if you charge the for example with an AC charger you, I've got to say let's say it's a 10 amp AC charger I charge my start battery these guys these DC DC chargers think oh the voltage is nice and high there I'll turn on that's how they work but the engine isn't running and I've only got a 10 amp charger from my AC but that could charge as much as 60 amps so what actually happens completely drains the start battery and more and more people are discovering this I did a video about three years about it and I've never received such hate and vitriol over YouTube ever in my life and what I had discovered was something that was little known it's now quite well known the solution and lots of people came up with solutions no the solution is so so unbelievably simple charge your auxiliary batteries first it's as simple as that because once they are fully charged they don't need more charge and they won't steal charge from the start battery charge them first problem solved will you remember to well this little guy is very very clever it's a patented easy as ignition sensing relay it's a sensor not just a switch so there I have two 200 amp hour lithium batteries by Amptron so that's under here that's all the batteries are under here down here you see and um, I wanted to improve cooling for the DC DC chargers it's we've been doing a few experiments and cooling down a DC DC charger even fitting a fan has been improving outputs by a lot I have a 30 amp DC DC charger 30 amp DC DC charger they are mounted on an aluminium plate which acts as a heat sink which is actually bolted to the f the car's framework so this whole area of steel around here works as a heat sink if you have a DC DC charger and you need an ignition trigger it's usually the thing like for you you really need one to make your DC DC chargers work properly it's always tricky where do you get the ignition trigger from a lot of people struggle with that they go where's the ignition trigger coming from how do I tap into that do I destroy my vehicle yada 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 there's a lot of uncertainty these relays they call easy as relays because they are easy as to wire in uh, all you need to do is a cable with a 5 amp fuse from battery positive no load on the cable itself directly from the battery from directly small fuse yep yeah, to that yeah directly from the battery small fuse to that then uh, ground connection 
and an output that goes to the DC-DC charger, ignition trigger. And what this relay will do is it will sense the rise and voltage like your smart solenoids. But on top of that, it will also detect the ripples from the alternator. So as soon as an alternator turns on, it creates slight ripples in the voltage. This relay will detect them and that makes it compatible even with smart alternators. So the voltage can drop as low as 12.5 volt. As long as the ripples are still there, this stays on. So if you've got a smart alternator in your car and you want to put an ignition trigger to your DC-DC charger, but you don't really know how, this is a way around it. You don't have to know your vehicle. You just need to know where battery positive is. Small fuse, cable to it, ground cable, output to the DC-DC charger, ignition trigger, and you're done. Because it at the moment, my Victron DC-DC charges yeah. are triggered by the voltage increase as the alternator spins. Yes. But you're saying that's not efficient. It could be done better because the problem with that is that you get a voltage drop on the power supply to the DC-DC charger. Yes. The DC-DC charger doesn't know that. So we have to set values in a way that we set them low enough so that we compensate the voltage drop. Usually with the DC-DC chargers from Victron, we set them at 12.4 volt. But the problem with that is if your battery takes charge on really slowly, you could actually discharge your battery, your start battery up to 12.4 volt before it turns off. You would have probably seen that sometimes they stay on for quite a long time still. Yes. The DC-DC charger, yes. that's because of that. Uh, but if you ignition trigger them, they turn off almost immediately. No current lost from your start battery while it's... Exactly. Plus happy. they don't compensate because we have to set the lowest allowed voltage in and the Victron DC-DC chargers are smart enough to realize that and then they dial back on the current. So if it drops down to 12.3 volt or 12.4, wherever we set it to, it will not allow the voltage to go down further. So it will reduce the charge current. That's why sometimes you only get 45 amps instead of 60 amps. But if we use an ignition trigger, we bypass the whole voltage sensing and it will just run flat out down to, I think, 9 volt or something. There's a hard okay. setting as well. Okay. So this is how you have to connect it. Yeah. And that is it. So this is your supply from start battery. Really important that there's no load on it whatsoever. And then you got your output to your DC-DC charger and your negative. You can put a 10 amp fuse in, but you could even get away with a 3 amp fuse because you don't want to switch anything with it anyway. It's just a trigger to turn the DC-DC mm. charger on. It senses that there is an alternator spinning. It knows the difference between ignition and alternator. So the wiring is very, very straightforward. I take this, mount it in my box. The blue wire goes to the Orion DC charges their sensing port. Black goes to earth in the box and red, I'm going to take it all the way to the start battery. I need to make sure, and this is really important, is that wherever I'm taking this to, there cannot be voltage drop on that line. In other words, it has to go to the battery itself. There cannot be lo any load on that line. So I've got to be very careful on where I connect this. It's a long way to the battery, but I have to make sure that there is no, that it doesn't get a false reading from the battery. Otherwise it won't sense the alternator, it won't work properly. So that's, that's a very, very important part. 